everyone, today I'm going to do the TMI tag. I was not tagged by anyone, but I saw a bunch of people doing it, and I just did a tag video the other day, and I liked it so much, so I decided to do this one too. So, let's get started, because there's a lot of questions. What are you wearing? Well, I'm wearing this little tee that I got from Old Navy. It's short sleeve. It has little anchors. Um, I actually bought it earlier today. It's really cute. And this little necklace um, has a D and a K. My name and my husband's name. These little Forever 21. I think it's Forever 21 earrings. And for makeup, I am wearing the Revlon Colorstay Whipped and the Lorac Pro to Go palette. And then before I filmed this, I added a bit of this um, Clinique Peach Pop. I love it. It just looks so healthy and glowy. And over on my lips, I have the Chanel Rouge Allure Extract de Gloss in 57 Insolence. And I have on no jewelry, the rest of me. And I'm wearing um, sweatpants. Two, ever been in love? I am married, so yes. I have a daughter, so yes. And um, before my husband, once, one time before him. Three, ever had a terrible breakup? Yeah, um, at the time, my neighbor just turned on their mower, so if you notice me glancing outside, I, I have my window, I'm playing with natural light, so I have my window open, so I hope he doesn't walk by and see me. Anyways, ever had a terrible breakup? Yes. At the time, I thought they were terrible. Now, looking back, I mean, yeah, I guess they were terrible, but, you know, nothing good ever ends. Oh, no, what is it? Things that are meant to be do not end. Is that it? There's some quote. I will put it right here, and I remember hearing that after breakups and thinking, that's so true, so... I will put it here because I think it's a pretty good little quote. Four. How tall are you? I am five foot five. Pff, I'm tongue tied. I am five foot half an inch, so I'm a shorty. Five. How much do you weigh? Uh, more than I should. I'm not overweight. I just went to the doctor the other day, and um, I'm in the healthy weight range, but more than I should. And if I told you, I mean. Because I'm not very tall. <laughs> Any tattoos? Well, you've probably seen this one. It's a little cross on my wrist. I have one on the back of my neck and two others. I don't know why I had to think about it. Like, I don't know. Um, this is the only one you'll probably ever see. I do have a flower on the back of my neck that I got with a friend of mine. And on my hip, I have, I'm a Pisces. I have a Pisces symbol because, you know, I mean, I was so into zodiac symbols. And then on my lower back, I have what is um, commonly known as a tramp stamp. Um, I got it when I was in high school, and that was when, you know, the butterfly on the low small of your back was really cool. I can't say that I regret it and that I wish I would have it removed because it's just, I don't know. I mean, it was fun. It was popular. I mean, I remember when I wanted my tattoos, my mom was like, you're going to regret it when you're 70 and you're all wrinkly. And I remember my mom all saying, when you're 70, you're not going to care. So, you know, this one is the only one everybody really sees. And I'm proud of this. I like it. Me and my sister have matching ones. She has one on this wrist. So, it's a special meaning to me. Seven, any piercings. I have um, just my earlobes pierced. I used to have a second hole. I don't wear those. And then in one of my ears, I had a third hole. And that is... Gosh, I don't know if I ever wore anything in it other than when I got it pierced. And then on this ear, I have this top of my cartilage pierced. I've literally had this done for 12 years, and I've never taken it out. I may be gross, but, you know. I had my belly button pierced in high school. I took it out. It's closed up. And I had my nose pierced for about a month. It just never healed. I mean, I don't do really great with piercing, so. But I did like that. Number eight, OTP. I had to look this up and it means one true pairing. I guess you're supposed to say like your favorite um, couples. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, Joey and Pacey. I don't know. I mean, 
I'm into shows and I have couples I want to be together but I don't know I, I don't go around feeling that way about them I really like Joey and Pacey nine favorite show okay if this is like all-time favorite show hands down Beverly Hills 90210 the original the newest one is not I watched it but the original hands down that um second place probably Gilmore Girls I love it and then if I had to pick one now it would be Scandal Revenge Vampire Diaries Nashville I watch a lot of TV if I and I'm watching Supernatural on Netflix. I know it's still on, but I'm going to have to say that's one of my favorites right now, too. I'm not caught up, but I love it. Oh, and Pretty Little Liars, obviously. Is that all? I really like The Bachelor. Yeah, I like a lot of shows. Number 10, favorite bands. The Beatles, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Garth Brooks. Mm-hmm. Something You miss. I miss my daughter being a tiny, tiny baby. I cannot even look at pictures or videos of her small without it, like, physically breaking my heart. So, I miss that. I miss my sister and her little baby and her husband. Um, they don't live around here and they're about to move to Italy. So, uh, I don't even want to talk about that. Um, my memo, you know, I mean, I miss people. Like, I mean, people are so much more to me than just things. Favorite song. This is nothing like deep and emotional, but Mr. Jones. It is just the most happy song. I don't know how you can like hear that song and not just sing at the top of your lungs. I just love it. How old are you? As of Friday, I am 30. Um, you know, I hear people say, like, their 20s, they're kind of eh, and their 30s are, like, the best years of their lives, or their life, <laughs> you only get one. Um, I can see that, because you're just, I don't know, you're, like, a grown-up, and you're just, you don't have to, like, impress people, or fit in, or be cool, so I can see that being the best years. Now, 31, I may feel a little differently, because I may be like, Ugh. I mean, like, I'm a grown-up, I'm an adult. I'm not in my 20s anymore. Anyways. Quality you look for in a partner. Trust. They have to have a good sense of humor. And like, I don't mean like making jokes, haha, -ha, Will Ferrell kind of sense of humor. Like, I like, I have a dry sense of humor. Um, like, The Office is hilarious. I have a friend of mine and she doesn't even get it funny. She doesn't find it funny. And I'm like, how? And I don't mean like, the Dwight part or like Steve Carell but just like the looks they give and it's like you know um <laughs> that's my kind of humor um caring and sweet and compassionate for animals and old people okay number 16 favorite quote okay I have a favorite quote easily I'm gonna have to google it I had to look it up because I wanted to get it right because I mean you cannot say a quote wrong and it mean anything it is by mark twain if you tell the truth you don't have to remember anything so true and no my husband does not lie to me but if you tell the truth you don't have to remember anything because you're just telling the truth i mean it's the truth you don't have to remember your stories you're i just love that quote i mean there's obviously good ones i mean you know there's tons of good quotes but that's my favorite 17 favorite actor i'm gonna pick tom hanks and julia roberts 18. Favorite color? Mint green. 19. Loud music or soft? If you would have asked me a few years ago, I would have said loud music. Now, when you have little kids, you have so much noise in your house that <laughs> either soft music or none. 20. Where do you go when you're sad? My bed and I curl up with my little Lola. 21. How long does it take you to shower? I take long showers. I don't know. I don't understand how people take really quick showers. My hair is really long. I mean, I shampoo it. I condition it. I do a body scrub. I do some shaving. I do a body wash. I wash my face. I mean, I 
I shower for probably like 20 to 30 minutes. And I know some of you are like, what? How do you shower that long? But <laughs> maybe I'm slow. I don't know. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? This depends. It If I'm like getting dressed, like full makeup, doing my hair, not counting a shower, okay? Um, 45 minutes doing everything. If it's shower and everything an hour and a half but if it's just like we're going out for the day I just need to get ready real quick give me 20 minutes and I'll be good 23 ever been in a physical fight uh, unless when it's a family member being a kid no 24 turn on um the things I look for in a spouse or significant other you know 25 turn off liars and people that um, like brag, you know, just like I do this, I can do this. And, you know, anything you have, they do it bigger and better. 26. The reason I joined YouTube. Well, I've been watching YouTube videos for years. And at times my husband had said, why don't you make videos? And it just, it was, that was like a turn off. Because, you know, you see the negative comments on popular people's videos. I mean, people just diss everything they do. They can't do anything right. They shop too much. They buy this. I mean, they just, they talk about their looks and just, they're so mean. And I thought, gosh, I would not want to be exposed to that. I mean, my skin is just not that tough. And, um, then, you know, and I had a young daughter at the time. And now that she's gotten a little bit older, I have a little more free time. She takes naps. She goes to bed. You know, like her, she has a good sleep schedule. I love makeup, I love beauty, and I just decided, you know, why not? It just, one day I was watching a video and I thought, I'm going to do that. I have a video camera, I don't have any fancy lighting, I don't have like fancy editing software. I can edit my videos. My lighting's okay, I mean, I'm not like a beauty um, blogger, like professional photography. That's pictures are like amazing, but, you know, anyways, so I just decided, why not? Okay. 27 fears dying getting cancer anything that's like health related i mean i've had fears like roaches oh i can't even handle them but once i had my daughter every fear was on her growing up without a mom me not being there for big parts of her life um all my fears translate to her and missing out on things and i don't want to continue talking or i will cry Last thing that made you cry. Uh, I shed some tears this morning. My um, sister had posted a picture on Facebook of her and our memo together. And um, my memo has been gone for about a year and a half, close to a year and a half. And seeing that picture this morning made me tear up. 29, last time you said you loved someone on um, a little bit ago when my husband left to go to work. 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. It is my first name and my birthday. 31, last book you read. I just finished the last True Blood book of the series. Not last night, but the night before, I think. Maybe the night before that. One this week. I just finished that series. And I liked um, it okay. I started reading those. I probably read them over the past three years. And sometimes I'm really into them. Sometimes I'm like, mm, I like the show. Oh, they're, they're the um, Suki Stackhouse novels by Charlene Harris. 32, the book you're currently reading. Since I just finished that one this week, I haven't started a new one. I go in spells with reading. I really will read, read, read. And then other times I'm into watching TV. And um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. 33, last show you watched. I feel like I started something last night when I got in bed. For the life of me, I don't remember. So probably the Pretty Little Liars um, finale video. Finale that I just did a video on. That was probably the last show I watched. 34, last person you talked to, my husband. 35, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. My sister. She is going to be home, um, as in where we're from. She doesn't live here. She lives somewhere else. She's going to be here for her birthday, and she was saying, um, it will be her 25th birthday, and she was saying, 
we can celebrate it together and she wants to go have crab legs. It's a food we love. 36, favorite food, pizza. It is such a little kid thing. Pizza, I love crab legs, I love sushi, I love a medium rare steak. I love a lot of food, but if I had to pick my favorite food, I mean, it's gonna be pizza. 37, place you want to visit, Hawaii. Hands down, Hawaii. 38, last place you were. Um, I'm at my house. Um, earlier today, me and my daughter went shopping and did some errands. We didn't do any errands, we just went shopping. The last place was Ulta. 39, do you have a crush? Jared Padalecki. I'm watching Supernatural, like I've said. I loved him when he was on Gilmore Girls, but I love him now even more. I mean, he, he's kind of, he's not the same character, but like, he's very similar. And I would like to think in real life, he's he's kind of like that. Um, so Jared Padalecki, 40, last time you kissed someone. Uh, I don't know if I kissed my husband today, but I know I kissed my daughter. 41, last time you were insulted. I got my first dislike on a video. It was the Pretty Little Liars one. I got one dislike, and I mean, that wasn't an insult, but I thought, do you not like how I did the video? Do you not like what I talked about? Do you not like Pretty Little Liars? I don't know. I mean, I just really don't understand the thumbs down. Like, that's so rude. That is so rude to be like, thumbs down. I mean, I don't know. I just think it's rude. 42. Favorite flavor of sweet? Hmm. Is this like chocolate vanilla kind of flavor? Um... If it's a favorite sweet thing, I'm going to have to say a donut. I love donuts. I do not do Lent because I'm Baptist, but my husband is Epis Episcopal, Episcopalian. I should know how to pronounce that right. Um, and they do Lent, as do many other people. Um, and so this year I decided to participate and I gave up non-healthy sweets. Not drinks, but like donuts. I allowed myself on my daughter's birthday party and on my birthday a sweet because I mean it's my 30th birthday plus apparently you can have um cheat Sundays I didn't know about and I'm not participating in the cheat Sundays so anyways a donut 43 what instruments do you play none I played the clarinet for like a month in middle school favorite piece of jewelry um, my engagement ring is my husband's grandmother's ring, so that is pretty sentimental. And I have a ring from my memo that's a little monogrammed ring with her initials, and that's pretty special. So I'm going to have to pick those. 45, last sport you played. I do not play sports. I'm not really that coordinated, but I was a cheerleader, and I did tumbling, so I'm going to have to say that was the last sport I played. 46, last song you sang. Oh my gosh, what was it? It was a country song. It was on the radio. It was that, I'm not going to try to sing. I'm going to say the words. It's like chasing that neon rainbow, living that honky-tonk dream, all I ever wanted. You know, um, that song, me and my daughter were singing it. She was singing guitar and neon rainbow. 47, favorite chat-up line. I don't like chat up lines. I mean, well, I don't have a favorite. 48, have you ever used it? No. 49, last time you hung out with anyone? Um, like hung out, hung out yesterday was Wednesday and me and my daughter have a standing play date with two moms and their little kids that are around her age. And so, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. So that was the last time I hung out with someone. I mean, last night I hung out with some people too, but that yesterday morning was the last time I really just like went to hang out. 50, who should answer these questions next? Anyone that wants to. A ton of people have done this video already. I'm by no means the first one. So if any of you want to do it and you film it, then let me know in the comments down below so I can be sure to watch your video because I think it would be fun. And now you all know a lot more about me than you did before this. So that's all, and I will see you later. Bye.